And uh, obviously, you've, you've previously fought Kyoji Haraguchi in Japan, and now you're fighting home ten fighter in Dublin. Is there anything you learn over there prepare you for this, or is it just doesn't come into the equation? I've been fighting like hometown guys. Like my last fight was in Manila. I mean, I may be Filipino, but I still fought a hometown guy, born and raised there. So it doesn't really change the difference, you know. I, I like fighting. I kind of like fighting like hometown heroes, you know. I, mean, I get to earn, fight, fight harder to try to earn the respect, you know, and just make them go for me too, you know. So, what do you see in Neil Siri that might pose a challenge to you? Uh, maybe his experience, you know. He's really a lot of experience under him, but you know, tough guy. I'm tough too, so it should be a good fight. Well, if we look at you know your past fight against Roldan, that was you know just after two straight losses in the UFC. It must have felt amazing to sort of get back in the win column. And also, do you feel like you got to show the fans with real John Dillis Reyes? I got yeah, uh, I got some yeah, like my heart. You know, when I got cut, I had to my my game plan went out the door. I didn't know how deep my cut was. I don't know. There was this blood getting in my eyes, and like, there's parts I couldn't, times I couldn't see. So my game plan went out the door, and I just like, you know, I had to finish this guy. You know, I don't know if the doctors gonna stop it. And I, so I, I guess I show like I have a lot of hearts, you know, in me, and I'm willing to go in there and just give it, you know, my best. So yeah. A lot of people are expecting Siri. He wants to stand up to this fight. Some people are thinking maybe you're gonna stand up. Maybe it's gonna go the complete other way. Do you have any problem getting in a in a fist fight in a fire fight here in Dublin with the hometown guy? No, I, I I'm kind of looking forward for it. You know, I mean, I want to win some fans here in Dublin. You know, Dublin got I think the loudest fan crowd ever. You know, I I, I seen them go to events in Las Vegas and man, they're they're loud and I love the energy. You know, just and it's, it's insane. So some people have the opinion that energy can work against them. Are you the guy that you just take in the energy regardless, make it positive even if they are booing at you? Yeah, even though. I'll, even though they're not going for me, the energy, invested. yeah, is is like they're going for the fight. That's what thing, you know. You know, they may be going for him, but we're both in that fight. And if the crowd's going wild, I know I'm doing the right thing too. I'm going, you know, giving them a good fight. So I'm looking forward for it. You know? You've made yourself very at home in Dublin. I know you're training uh, in George Santos's in Atos. Did I see that on Facebook the other day? You had a gi on you of all things. Fight week. What's going on here? Oh, just you know, get a good sweat, get my. My flexibility and going still, you know. Yeah, George's a good guy. Uh, my coach, Sonny uh, Hara for Jiu Jitsu, he knew some of the guys that George trained with. And um, same here, I, I know some some of the Guam guys that trains up in uh, the main autos in uh, San Diego. Yes, at San Diego. And George's a yeah, nice guy letting us train at his gym, you know. So you said that, you know, obviously Siri is a very experienced guy. That might be one of his biggest advantages. But what would you say are your biggest advantages? I think my advantages are my submission attempts, my jiu jitsu. You know, maybe, uh, yeah, my thing with submission, we both look like we could push the pace and have that cardio for that, that fast rate fight, you know. And your nickname, The Heat, where does that come from? I don't know, I guess back home they just, I guess every time I fight, I just go forward. I messed up one of my, one of my fights, my early fights, ever, uh, early stage fights. Uh, I think I, I probably like injured my ankle during the fight, the first round. I couldn't walk, but I, I just kept pushing forward, even though, you know, finished the fight three rounds lost, but, you know, that's probably why. You know. A lot of people have been saying that this, ever since this fight was announced, this has fight of the night written all over it. Obviously, that would be a bonus in more ways than one for you. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I've been hearing it's a fight of the night, and when they found out that I'll be fighting him, I, I my head came up like, wow. And you look at the, the who's on the car, and it's like, I think I have a, I have a good, great chance making a fight tonight. You know. And what would that kind of you know fifty thousand dollar bonus? How would that change your life? Um, it, it helped me like more financially, get trained more, and just you know, constrain more this UFC career. And so far, what do you think is has been the biggest difference or the biggest surprise from like the MMA fans and the MMA scene here in Ireland? Uh, just man. It's, it's growing, you know, they're one of the best, I think probably one of the best crowds and man, hopefully they have more events here, you know, it's pretty a nice place and uh, I will let it come back here. So, yeah. with, uh, with Joseph Duffy pulling out the other day, have you been told if your fight's been bumped up to the main card or has it gone up in an order? Uh, I think it did, I think I'm on the main card now, I'm not too sure, I will I'm going to confirm later and uh, yeah, it sucks, uh, you know, I was looking forward for that fight for Duffy and I uh, just wish him speed recovery, man.
And I believe, if I if I'm I might be incorrect, but I believe your fight was moved up to first fight on the main card. Does that change things for you, like in terms of like its sponsors and attention that you get and things like that? Um, maybe yeah. But like for me, not really. I mean, I'm here for a three-round fight. It trained already. You know, it trains done. Just put gonna fight. Maybe my maybe I gotta get ready to warm up early. I get longer time to you know before my fight comes come in and get ready for a fight. But maybe more opportunities for me for like sponsors. Yes, sponsorships. And just to round off, what would you say the fans both here in Dublin and around the world should expect from your fight with Siri on Saturday? Man, three round war. It could be a one round war. Just just a fast paced fight. Just nonstop. You know, explosive. All right, I'm sure the fans will like that. John, thank you very much. Good luck in the fight.